Hey, what is up guys and welcome to a new Kev5 tutorial. Today we are going to be teaching you how to install a custom jar to your server. And this includes Spagat 1.8, Craft Bucket 1.8, the latest build of Spagat, and many more beyond that. You can also install Cauldron and other things like mod packs and stuff. But we're going to be showing you something very basic today. Now I will not be changing the jar on my server, however, I will give you a basic idea of how to do it. This is using the MC Pro Hosting Control Panel, which is extremely convenient and easy to use. Now the first thing you would do is shut down your server. Next thing, download or already have downloaded the jar file, which in this case would be Spagat 1.8, which is what I would recommend over Craft Bucket 1.8. Next, once completely downloaded, you would go to your FTP file access. Now, it's right below files in the MC Pro Hosting Control Panel. Click it, wait for it to load. Now, you're going to see this beautiful thing. You're going to simply hit upload file and drag and drop it to your server. You're going to have to wait a lengthy time uh, for it to upload. But once you have done that, uh, you're basically done. It's, a, it's basically in your server already. Now you're going to want to click change server type. Uh, this is also on the left side that says server type. You're going to want to wait for it to load. If you have a slow internet connection like I do, it will take longer. Now you're going to want to click click to change jar name. And you're going to want to type in the name of the file that you uploaded. Now in my case, the file I downloaded was called spigot server one dot jar and I would click change oh, it, there's a space you would click change jar name now I'm going to not be doing that for this case because it's a pixelmon server messing with the jar will cause it to not work you're going to want to hit change jar name though after you've put in the jar name of what you downloaded now click back and then start up your server and as long as you did that correctly and correctly put the exact name of the file in that location your server should start up fine with whatever version you installed uh, it's extremely simple extremely easy to do and really quickly before we go i just wanted to showcase a special feature that's exclusive to mc pro hosting uh in terms of very much customiz customization uh, so you're going to want to click server type and wait for it to load then you're going to want to click click to change server type you will be able to scroll through many things you will need to buy mod support to use mod packs just to let you know but you can scroll through to standard minecraft which is vanilla minecraft snapshot minecraft bucket ftp and much much more uh spagat pixelmon bungee cord cauldron uh, very awesome stuff. Now just an example, I'm going to click bucket and scroll through and they have basically all the versions down to 1.1. Now for Spigot, however, they actually have the newest 1.8.3 version if you choose to use this. Please keep in mind that any plugins updated to 1.8 most likely will work on 1.8.3, but we cannot promise anything if it does occur. So basically, once you've done that, you ch it would change, it would shut down your server, change that real quick, and then you can start it up without any data loss. Um, keep in mind that plugins on 1.7.9 most likely will not work on 1.8. Some might, but most likely they will not. So I hope this helped you out a lot, guys. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below. Leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Uh, leave a like if you're not new and you enjoyed the video and it helped you out. And have a wonderful day.